DJing with the iPad is now more popular than ever, and although you could get started DJing with just the iPad, eventually you're gonna want some equipment, so my first recommendation is controllers. Eventually you're gonna want the look and the feel of turning knobs, scratching on the job wheel. Now you don't need to get the most expensive controller out there that's over a thousand dollars. You could start with a controller such as the Newmark DJ to go to touch. It's less than a hundred dollars and it has a built-in sound card so you don't need an adapter for your headphones or anything like that. Everything is on the controller. It doesn't have the most features because it's so small but when you upgrade to a bigger controller down the road, you could keep this as a spare or keep it for kind of smaller gigs. So it's a, it's a must have controller for anyone DJing with the iPad. And if you want something a little bit bigger and but you still don't want to spend over a thousand dollars, you could go with the Pioneer Flex 4 or the Reloop Ready or Reloop Buddy. These are great mid range controllers for around three to five hundred dollars. Next is going to be a headphone splitter for the iPad, although I do recommend having a controller that has a sound card so you don't need to use your headphone splitter. It's always a good idea to have this as a backup, whether you're just practicing at home or if you're DJing and your controller or something happens with it, you want to be able to use your headphones. So definitely go with a headphone splitter. This is probably the cheapest thing on the list. And I think everyone that plans on DJing with the iPad should have this headphone splitter cable. A lot of apps like DJ Pro, EDJ Mix, Cross DJ allow you to use the split output option. And don't go with just a random one. Make sure you know it's going to work with DJing. A lot of them that look and feel the exact same way. Some worked for my iPad, some didn't. I used the one that came with the Hercules Control Mix. It works perfectly. And then also I'll leave a link for the Tractor one down below so you guys can get that. But every iPad DJ should have the headphone splitter, even if you plan on always DJing with a controller. The next one is basically having your iPad stay where you want it to stay. So this may sound simple, but when you start doing gigs or even if you're practicing at home, you're going to find it very frustrating when your iPad is not at the right level or height or angle is if it's flat on the table you're kind of gonna feel weird like this and i have tried so many different stands and it really pays to go with a high quality one so that your ipad is gonna be there don't go with a cheap dollar tree one because then your iPad's gonna fall over and it's gonna ruin your whole whole set uh some controllers come with a stand like the real buddy that's why i would recommend it but if you don't like any of the controllers that feature stands then just do your research and go with a good stand there's so many to choose from ranging from a dollar all the way up to a couple of hundred dollars definitely go with a professional one that is going to be at the right height next is you're going to need adapters uh, um, dongles they call it a bunch of things, but it's something that's going to plug into your iPad and basically allow you to plug other stuff into your iPad. Now, I didn't put this on the lit on, on this list because I figured every iPad DJ already has an iPad, but I would recommend using a USB-C iPad because it has the most connectability, especially with DJ Pro. Pretty much most iPads, unless they're pretty old, don't have a headphone jack, so you're not going to be able to just plug in an audio cable and start DJing. And yes, you can DJ with Bluetooth, but there's a latency and you can't use your headphones as well and other stuff like that. So I would recommend hardwiring your audio in. First, are going to need an audio adapter, so something that plugs into your iPad and then allows you to plug a headphone jack into that into that and then also allows i would recommend getting one that charges the ipad because you're going to want to keep your ipad charged also to plug in these controllers if you order one of these controllers open it up and go to plug it in you're going to find that most controllers except for the flex 4 don't have a USB-C port uh, i think a lot of the new ones in the future will you're going to need an adapter that's going to go from USB-C into regular USB so you can plug in your controller. And if you're already getting one of these anyway, go with one that has a HDMI port because with HDMI, you could use DJ Pro's best feature, which is video mixing and mix it with music videos, which I highly recommend that you do. It's really easy to do as long as you have an adapter that you could plug in that HDMI to. I made a lot of videos about this and then next is once you have all of this stuff you're gonna need a way to set it up a dj booth now it doesn't have to be the most fanciest dj booth like you see at the main stage at coachella it could just be pretty simple and pretty inexpensive 
So you're going to need a table. Your table is going to need to be at the right height. You don't want, like I said, with the stands, you don't want to be awkward, bending over, hurting your back. Also, if you're DJing for three or four hours, your back is going to start to hurt if you're bending down at a table that's meant for sitting and you're standing. And then just go with a, put a sheet over it, a nice black sheet so you don't see your legs. And then, then you have your iPad stand and you have your controller and then you just need and then you just need to get yourself a good PA system. It doesn't have to be the biggest one in the world when you first start out. So definitely choose one based on what type of DJing, how many people you're gonna do it for. But even if you plan on DJing just as a hobby, just as a hobby, or maybe doing gigs for your friends and family, having a DJ booth that you could set up quickly and take down quickly and just start partying is a really amazing thing to have and it makes DJing so much more fun. So check out this video where I show you guys my iPad DJ booth.